What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fenster Prince, SoundCloud, Aquarius, and uh, Dig, and all you other guys. Uh, websites that are out there who I happen to have read it and, you know, on the line, uh, who I'm just figuring out are out there. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm a veteran, so I'm going to put up a couple veteran videos. Uh, and this one is pretty much about veterans benefits. So the reason why I'm doing this is because you can go online and look for veterans benefits. And you don't well you really have to dig when it comes to specific benefits. Uh okay, now we know that we can all get something free to eat somewhere. Uh and it, 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 truth be known, I'm just now finding that out. Like, I can go to Golden Corral on Memorial Day and all that other stuff. Uh, however, there are more veterans, veterans benefits out there that people might not be aware of. Now, this one particular veterans benefit I'm going to talk about is the VOA program. Now, uh, I'm in my upper 40s. So, I, and I'm, you know, I'm just now... Uh, going back to school to try to finish my four-year degree. Now, let me let me go back a little bit. When I went in the service 20-something years ago, when I was in the service, I went in to try to get the GI Bill for Veterans Education. Uh, I was not able to get that because I left a month early. So they took away that. They didn't take away everything else, but they were like, we're going to deny your veterans benefits. I know. It's crazy. Uh, veterans benefits as far as my um, my education. Uh, so basically what I did was I spent about 10 years trying to get into the VOA program. And uh, when I finally got in, they let a whole bunch of veterans in. Now, I'm 10 percent disabled. So uh, that actually helped. So I'm telling you veterans out there, if you're if you're a veteran, you don't have to be disabled. Uh, but being disabled, I know is a bad thing, but it helps when it comes to getting into the VOA program, especially if you're 20%. Um, but I was 10%, so that's what made it hard. If I was 20%, I would have went in right away. Nonetheless, it's an education program, and I'm going to tell you the difference between that and the GI Bill that I know of. You guys can go ahead and look this up. For one, the VOA program gives you a stipend while you go to school. So... If you go to school full time, it's like six hundred bucks. If you go to school part time, it has to be like six classes, six or eight, six or eight credit hours. I think it's three hundred and eight dollars, somewhere around there. So, and and that's gone up because it was only five hundred and something, and then two. So they, it, you know, that went up. So basically, they help pay for. Well, they help you pay for your bills. You know what I mean? Because they want you to finish school. Also, the um, in, in the uh, GI Bill, I don't think they do that, not unless they did some amendment to the GI Bill. But to my knowledge, it was just you had so much money, you used that money, and that's it. Well, the VOA program isn't like that. Uh, however, they do have limits to how long you can be in and how much money you can use. Uh, I believe it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's $3,000 a quarter or somewhere around there. Uh, you can use or, uh, and, you know, you got to check the specifics on that. But nonetheless, they have a limit you can use each quarter in for each year. And they also have a projection date uh, that you have to submit to your counselor. And uh, there's a counselor that works with you. This is really great. Also, this is another good veteran, veterans, veteran, veterans benefit what they do when you're in the VOA program, you um, if you go to VA hospital like I do, we, once you get into the VOA, uh, VOA program, you get dental and eyesight, uh, eye care. So they don't it, like I don't get that for free if I'm not in the program. But if you're in the program, you get it. So you can get yourself a pair of specs. I got some reading glasses around here somewhere, and you know they'll check your teeth and. 
so on and so forth. And uh, I'm going to get mine checked because I have a missing one here. And I, I want to put, you know, put something in there to fill the space. Um, other than that, my teeth are, you know, I keep, I brush them three times a day, you know, I keep, keep up on them. But, uh, so you do get those benefits and I'm not sure if the GI Bill gives you that benefit. So, I mean, it, it's just something to look into for you veterans who are, or who are just now getting out of service or have been out for a while. You might not be aware of that. Also, the, 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 the um, the GI Bill, I think it's 36 to 48 months of of stipend that you use. So it's basically four years, three, four years, five years. And then you're cut off. And that's pretty much it. So they have their limits. Each of them have their limits. But the VOA program is far, far, far better than the GI Bill. It's far better. And here's the thing. The VO, the VOA program, I did not pay into. I paid into the GI Bill. Money was taken out of my check each month to go into my education. So I basically lost that money. If I wouldn't have gotten to the VOA program, that uh, pretty much, I mean... I would have lost that money. But being out of gotten the VOA program, it's like I got it back. But the two are not connected. So yeah, I would have lost that money that I paid into. Well, basically I did once they said I could not get the um uh I could not get those veterans benefits once I got out of the military. So and the reason why I could not is because I had an article 15. And basically, I got out general under honorable, but I had a disagreement with one of my officers. And the officer would just, he would just keep harassing me and harassing me until finally I just didn't want to be in the service anymore. But I was so short, I only had a month to go. They said, well, we're just going to, we're just going to release you early, but we're going to article 15 you. So they broke me down to uh, uh, E1 or something like that. They took my spec four. Broke me down to E1 and pretty much ETS me out. Um, and that was okay with me because I got really tired of that officer. And if I didn't get out, I was going to hurt that dude. I was going to take it to him. And he just wouldn't leave me alone. He kept harassing me on purpose. And so it made me look like I was some kind of weak soldier, which I wasn't. I just kept getting harassed everywhere I went. And uh, I worked. I was a cook. But I was also assigned to an MP unit, and what he would do is have his MPs harass me. So, you know, one day they saw me coming uh, from, I was coming from a club or whatever, and they pulled me over and uh, basically put me in handcuffs and started beating me up. And then they took me to jail, and I, and, uh, uh, I knew that was pretty much it for me being in the military, so... That happened on Fort Riley, Kansas. But nonetheless, everybody has good and bad experiences when it comes to the military. However, for you guys who are trying to get your benefits, if you got out on, honor, on under honorable conditions, I'm sorry. Check out the VOA program. Don't look so. Don't disregard what you've already paid for your benefits. You've already paid into, but. Know that the VOA program is also a choice for you. See, a lot of benefits we don't know about. A, because we just we just don't go and research the benefits. And, and, and B, sometimes we just don't care until it matters. And when you find yourself still trying to succeed and you're having a hard time like most veterans do, they have a hard time when they get out for one reason or another. They struggle in society and we all understand that. Well, not everybody is apt to just go and jump into college after they get out of, you know, the military because of one reason or another. But however, if a few years go by and you can't use your GI Bill, you know, you 10 years go by and you're just like, I'm out here. I'm not doing anything 
or I'm out here doing something and I could do better if I get a degree, you know, and the GI Bill is only for so long after you get out of the military, go ahead and look at the VOA program, you know, call a veteran's benefit uh, um, person. Uh, you can even call the veteran's hospital and find out who the veteran's benefit person is. Get a counselor on it. And, uh, and I say that because that's where my counselor is. She's at the hospital. They have a whole office there. But you can, you know, talk to your counselor there and uh, go ahead and see if you can, you know, get yourself into a school that you really like. Uh, that's going to accept you that you think you can be successful at and get yourself a projected uh, date where you think you'll graduate. And um, things don't always go as we plan, but nonetheless, if the military sees that you, you're you serious and that this is a viable degree that will boost your income and uh, will definitely get you a steady job, which is what they're trying to do, then go ahead and look into that. It's your money. It's your money. You have you have the right to go and investigate that and and try to get money for school. There's nothing wrong with it. It, it, it even if it's a two year program or three week, four week truck driving school, whatever certificate, whatever it is you think that's going to get you a steady income and get you out of the financial rut that you're in. They are there to help you. So this is your boy Tone, just letting you veterans know there's more than just a GI Bill out there. There's a better program. To me, it's better. It's the VOA program. If you have any questions, hit me up, and I will be, I'll be more happy to go ahead and do some research for you in your area and see what we can come up with and try to direct you the best I can. All right? Peace.